Alexa, play the newest Greta Van Fleet song. Anthem by Greta Van Fleet, starting now on Amazon Music. Faders up. Oh, shit, faders down. Faders down. <laughs> you know, this one is real special because it's so, it's so hard, you know. It's, it's rough it's, edge. It is. <laughs> This is just it! Uh. That's rock and roll, guys. Me. Woo! A really important song on the album, um, and one that was interesting to create, was Brave New World. Um, I think it was, it was at a certain point where we had started, you know, can, you know, had configured so many different songs on the album and we were kind of looking at each other going, I think we're going to need something new here. And this is one of the rare, one of the four rare occasions on the uh, album where we had written a song during the recording process. And it was um, one night we were at Rust Belt Studios in Detroit and we were kind of sitting around and I had this riff and I'd worked on it for a few hours and brought it to the guys and we were cutting it out in there and the meaning, you know, we identified with it pretty quickly and it turned into something of significance and the song was recorded in one night and it talks about you know about the 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 the, the way the shape of the earth is in and, and a lot of those you know I think the most important song to me and I think the growth of Greta Van Fleet is Anthem on on Anthem of the Peaceful Army and it's kind of a pseudo title track and I remember that uh, we came across this very, very old demo that we did back in like, must have been like 2014 or something. And it was a very simple song, three chord structure. And I remember that we just wrote it just because we were demoing material and we wanted to do more. And uh, that's what it was. And we stumbled across it. And that was kind of the inspiration for what Anthem turned into. And we went directly into the little studio room in Rust Belt back in Detroit. And I, I sat there in the back with the lap steel because I was just learning how to play that thing. Still don't really know how to play it, and Jake was strumming along on the acoustic. And uh, Daniel was actually playing uh, bass. And Josh just kind of free-formed, and he, he kind of invented what the song really meant. And when we were sitting in that room... ...had ever experienced... I would have to say You're the One was probably the most successful take, um, personally, just because of how much history the song has garnered over the years. It's one of the first songs um, I had ever experienced writing um, with the band. So every time I perform it, it takes me to that place. And when we were recording it in that moment, it was pretty easy to, to find myself in that place. The track that stands out to me on the album, it would be Age of Man, because, I mean, there is some mystifying elements to the song for me. Um, and we wrote it. Um, at a, at, a, at a time we were in this cabin um, high up somewhere near the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee and um, it was just kind of magical you know I mean the song really came together there and uh, took on uh, meaning you know where you're you're given the opportunity to sort of uh, write you know and reflect on uh, what the what this song is telling you and the melody and it's very it takes you off your feet and kind of elevates you